Hey guys, first of all, welcome to my channel if you hear from Snips and Snails. If you are a subscriber, I wanna say thanks for coming back. Today we are doing a collab and we are trying to spend $15 at Target and do something kid related. I believe Megan said that she is doing more of a play date thing and I went and walked and walked around Target and I thought, you know what? A homework station, that would be perfect. Place for my kids to come and put all of their paperwork, keep organized, have extra supplies that they may or may not need, have stuff to do their chores and, you know, make a cool little area for them. So first and foremost, we found this little craft bell in the toy clearance and it's just a pin board. So I figured this could be great for like party invitations, um, you know, big events at the school, like chorus shows and stuff like that, you know, more than just day to day. And this was 308 from 1029. And then we found these folders. It's a three pack of folders, which works perfectly because I have three of my four kids going into school. So it has, they kind of look all like that or like that. So I thought these were really, really cool and I can put their names on each one of them and this will go into this little thing which was in the dollar spot and this one was $3 and it's a letter organizer. And what I can do is I can either put these folders in here or I bought this thing that hangs up and it actually came with three folders in it but I wasn't a fan of the three folders. I just, I didn't like the colors on them. So I actually sold them for a dollar. So it made this one $1.99, which was kind of nice. Um, but my thought process is, is I can put these folders in here and this can be like, you know, stuff mom needs to see, important notices, things like that. And then in this folder, it can be more like, you know, projects that are coming up, like the information for them or their spelling list for the week or just the many different things that they may or may not need where I only have two in bigger grades. Trevor's or Casey is in kindergarten this year, so he won't have spelling lists and things like that. But flashcards, you know, any of that type of stuff will be perfect there. And then we got some extra pencils because it always seems to be that the kids need pencils and these are kind of like, you know, inspirational type pencils and these ones were a dollar. We also got mechanical pencils. My kids have never had mechanical pencils, but they were sparkly and fun and only a dollar on sale. So we figured grab them too so that we have more than enough pencils in case we can't find our pencil sharpener. And these can just, you know, also just go and sit in there like that if we wanted to or we could get some more bins or stuff like that. I was just trying to stick to my $15 budget. This to do is going to be how we let them know of their chores. So each kid will have their to do on their folder each day. It'll be sticky note on so they know that they pull this folder out. They put any information that needs to be in. If there was anything that needed to be like redone or anything like that, I would put it in this folder as well. And then they're also going to have their chores on there. And then the kids are always, always, always looking for blank paper to kind of, you know, maybe do their math on or jot notes on or whatever. Or if there is like a note I need to write to their teachers or anything like that, I want to have one, you know, notepad for that. So I figure I'm going to use this one. We can also use this as like our shopping list. Like sometimes the kids may need something for school that, you know, is new. Like, you know, last year Trevor needed like a white t-shirt because his teacher ended up doing a tie-dye shirt for them. So I'm gonna leave this as like, kind of like our correspondence note that can go there as well. And then we have just two little post-its and I figure each big kid will have a post-it because these will work well for them. Uh, just for jotting things down if they need me to see anything. You know, we have two different little styles of them. And then reward stickers. I'm going to use this as an indication of that they completed their chores. They did what they were supposed to do. Once they have so many stickers on their folder, then they get to cash those in for um, either their allowance. They can choose to not do allowance. They can choose to do, you know, like a save up for a fun event or things like that. So we'll make the stickers good for a certain amount of things, you know, 10 stickers that gets you your typical allowance. If you don't want your typical allowance, then you can do like 30 stickers and that can mean going somewhere fun and stuff like that. So that's what we're gonna use for that. So I'm gonna put this all together in a little area and I'll let you guys know what I come up with. So I thought I'd show you guys where everything's gonna go. So this is like a little nook that's in my dining room. And this little 
pin board is going to go here and then the folder thing goes there and then i'm actually going to buy a little container that's our camping stuff sorry <laughs> um, i'm going to buy a little container that is going to have this in it and i'm going to put all of this stuff back here and then i'm going to get like one of the little um like jars or whatever and put the pencils in there and i'm going to make sure that they're sharpened and I see, i'm going to see if i can get like maybe some a glue stick some scissors a highlighter a red pen and just put them all in the little container and that will just sit nice and neatly there on the floor i would show it to you guys but we're getting ready to paint this room so it's like i don't want to put all this stuff up and then have to take it down again but it's gonna look cute i like it i love the way it's gonna come out and it's gonna be hidden like it's not gonna be like your kid stuff all up in your face you know because if you're standing in here you won't even be able to see it <laughs> 